Right behind us is a hippo. Oh my god, there's a fly. <laughs> Chloe, five glasses of wine down. Sorry, four glasses of wine down. Also, the irony, right? We said we weren't drinking today. Cheers. just kickstarting this vlog obviously i'm at home but don't worry this vlog is going to be all in south africa but i'm coming at you in real time because the intro of this kind of got mixed up as this will go straight into when we got to south africa traveling and then landing in cape town i just want to start the video off to say i had the most amazing trip in south africa it blew all expectations safari vineyard the time we spent in cape town so i hope you enjoy this i'm going to bring you along all for the ride i just wanted to start off by saying we booked everything separately our flights the safari and the other hotels that we were staying so i will name all of the locations they will all be on screen as well in case you are looking at doing a trip to south africa hopefully this gives you some inspo and I really hope you enjoy. <laughs> it's cut the cord, I'm done. But you can see- We're making it to the top. The beautiful view already, lion's head. We had to like have breakfast, get some work done this morning. So we haven't actually started it till a little bit later. So it's quite hot. So I'll probably check in in the next half an hour and I'm gonna be dead But it is such a beautiful view and we're determined. We never do hikes together, do we? First I'm like one. normally we're on a sunbed, cocktail in hand and here I am on a hike Oh my god, there's a fly <laughs> This is not for the faint-hearted. We are currently on the side of a cliff sweating that you have to properly like go up ladders hold like bars to climb up chains you did not explain this to me <laughs> i thought it'd be like a nice morning hike this is more than a hike i've gone up ladders and everything i think we're halfway he keeps lying to me though every 30 minutes he's like just another 30 minutes more also this is making me look very pale but i've took my straps off because i don't want to get no tan way lines. to get a tan but hopefully we're halfway Bye. fingers crossed look how high up we are we're basically in the clouds it's just this top bit here which is the summit but I've just had a little bit of a freak out the fact that you have to kind of like climb the side of this mountain to get up I don't know if you can see some people up there it freaked me out anyway getting to this point and I never really get fearful but it's a lot to get up that in this heat so this is good for me we just haven't made that tiny little bit here but I'm proud of us for doing this hike. The view is absolutely stunning, if you can see over here. And Chris was just talking about how this will probably be one of the moments in life that will be closest to South Pole. South Pole. Now the hike is done, we came to one of the local restaurants where we're staying in Cape Town and we had sushi, it was so good. So this is one of the local town sparkling wines that we thought we'd try out, but this is well deserved. Cheers babe, for our first hike together. I'm proud of you, but you didn't half complain all the way up. And then at the top, what happened? You said, I'm so glad we did this. Yeah. And then I was happy all the way down. And all the way down, you were like... <laughs> but I did it. You did it. Well done. So we chilled by the pool for a few hours this afternoon. And then we have quickly got ready. So hence why my hair is basically not done. Because we just stepped out and it was so windy. Like gale 
twins so I'm just in a very casual outfit tonight I feel like I'm saving all kind of like my fancy outfits for the events around the wedding and what we've got going on after it like the vineyard and safari so just going for a casual date night tonight so we're going around the V&A waterfront and we're going to a restaurant called The Nines which is a nice estate restaurant apparently and it's meant to have good views of the sunset which you can kind of see here in the car it is going down it goes down quite early here it's such a beautiful sunset but the wind took it away whilst we were trying to enjoy it on our like terrace earlier but these drives are so beautiful along the coast but I'm excited to go and see kind of the main area of Camps Bay as well A lovely dinner last night at the nines and we were gonna go along the v &A waterfront but it got late and we got tired I feel like the past few days is taken out of us we came back I would say we had an early night but we didn't actually end up going to bed till like midnight so again we had a bit of a lion this morning and we've got up, gone to breakfast but we are actually checking out this hotel I don't actually know if I've told you about this hotel we're staying at the Bay Hotel which has been brilliant because it's right on the front here in Camps Bay in Cape Town. So it's been a really great location, great hotel, served the purpose, but we're gonna go and have a walk along the beach this morning and just chill out by the pool and then we're checking out and heading over to Frank's shirt to the wine vineyard, which is where the wedding is gonna be. So we're gonna be there for the next three nights. But I've got this lovely dress on from by Melina. It's kind of like a calf tanny obviously like beach dress and then I've got my Hunza G swim underneath my blue one which hopefully I'll be able to show you later when we're just kind of chilling by the pool but we need to check out real quick but I thought I would check in. So this has been our room and this has been our view. Each morning waking up to seeing this it's just made the world of difference from being at home to grey skies to seeing the beach and the sea it's just so beautiful around here. So saying bye to this view, we're going to go have a little walk along here, chill by the pool. There's quite a few different pools as well in this hotel, which is nice. And then we're going to be heading over to Frank's show this afternoon. All packed up. Oh, are you okay? Oh no. I dropped it on my toe. Oh bless you. Are you okay? 38 kilo suitcase. Yeah, fine. Right. I've got a camera. Okay. Alright, ready? Yeah, let's go. ready in half an hour I had to quickly kind of slick this hair up so I've done like half up half down flicked it out very quickly I've got on at this dress from by Melina which I love which is gonna be for the rehearsal dinner tonight which is her something blue I've just seen Vicky my best friend and she is glowing and she's so excited it is so stunning here we're on the La Roche estate so I'll give you kind of like a bit of a tour but the room we're staying in this is one of the suites it's beautiful Chris is just quickly getting ready behind me because we need to get ready for the rehearsal dinner. Very quick, we basically checked in and I've had like 30 minutes to turn it around. So I'm actually doing a speech tonight, so I'm very nervous, but I'm excited to start seeing the whole grounds and get ready for tomorrow. This is the view from our room. It's just had a little bit of a rain, hence why you can see a little bit of the drops coming off, but look how stunning this view is and the fact that we're going to be waking up here every day is a pinch me it's just so beautiful so i'm sure i'm going to be sitting here with a cup of coffee in the morning looking out to this view and then this is part of where the wedding is going to be and then there's also a massive um it's like a chapel over here i'll try and insert some pictures of how it's going to be because we're going to go and do the walk through for the ceremony there as well which is just going to be absolutely stunning so I feel very, very lucky and blessed 
to be in such beautiful settings. And there's also a little hot tub down here, which I'm sure we'll make use of. It's like a log um, fueled one. And yeah, this is basically our room. We've already <laughs> got our luggage everywhere and there's another suite there, so they kind of join onto each other. And then you've seen inside. able to vlog the past few days so hopefully these kind of little videos and clips have shown you what we've been getting up to because in a way I did want to just kind of switch off and just really be there for my best friend and her wedding so I'm picking the camera back up we are checking out now of La Roche Estate and we're going to be going over to a, another vineyard and we're going to be staying there I think it's the Molinvine Molinvine I'm probably really not pronounce that right but i'll obviously show you the location and i'll put the tag so we're going to be staying there for one night and that's going to be in this frank shirt region as well before we go off to the kruger park so i've got my top on from dish and some trousers because it's been a little bit hit and miss this morning it's kind of rained a little bit but the sun's coming out now so i thought this would be a good outfit for it so i don't know if you can hear my voice is going a little bit i've been partying hard over the past two days but it's just been absolutely magical <laughs> So on this site there's loads of different areas and this was actually the owner of the vineyard this is where they used to live and then in here there are a few different rooms so we've got a suite on the side but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour because it's just such a beautiful property and the views are stunning as well so you come through there's a room here and then there's like a main lounge area where you can just hang out if we were here for a few more nights it would have been really nice to just kind of enjoy this a little bit more but this is where the beautiful view is. So you get this huge pool overlooking these mountains. As you can see, it's a little bit cloudy, but it is just so pretty here. So I'm sure we'll chill out on these sun lounges for a little bit. But you can see it's a little bit gloomy and hazy today, but the sun is trying to peep through. And then Chris is over there having some food. So we've checked in and we're just doing the wine tasting. I'm really conscious that I've probably got loads of pesto in my teeth because they've just put us a little board of like pesto, grapes, olives. The best pesto in the world. So good. No, I actually hands down said it was the best pesto. But as you can see, I currently have a table <laughs> full of wine in front of me. We're doing the wine tasting, obviously. So we've got a brat, Sauvignon Blanc, Merlot, Cameo Sauvignon. And then there's like a mix as well. But we are the only ones here because they have a lot of weddings here and kind of what we've just done they've checked out their wedding party so we're basically like the only really ones around which is quite nice love it. yeah every time we do a, a wine, uh, wine session we're alone we are when we did it in france but it's quite nice so i feel like i've got a lot to get through here cheers oh this is good we're debating because we're like we don't have a lot of room left in our luggage but i'm like we need to take some home when we're sat at home in front of the fire when it's cold we really want a glass of red we're gonna be like we wish we brought some i feel like we should have taken some from the wedding oh like they couldn't get rid of it i know my best friend she had loads of wine left over and they're not drinking for the next few weeks and she yeah, was like we please take polite. it we're like no it's okay but we have got a nice bottle of champagne that we've taken and i said when they come over for dinner 
we'll open it with them. Maybe their one year anniversary, but I just can't get over. I feel like we're getting used to it, but these settings behind us, I don't know if it's picking up the mountains. We're yeah, basically we just sat in the monks, the most beautiful setting right now. Here he is. It's a bit gloomy today, but it's actually quite nice in a way. I mean, we've, we've been scorching all day. This is perfect, to be fair, yeah. for this a few hours. This is the vineyard right here in front. So we might have a little wine down. Yeah. This is Chloe, five glasses of wine down. Sorry, four glasses of wine down. Okay. Really good. Go on, give us the tasting notes. Very nice. Cabernet Sauvignon was my fave. Very nice. We need to take a bottle home. we weren't drinking today we drank every day on this holiday and today we're like no we're not drinking and I'm like wait we're coming to a vineyard good morning so having your breakfast with this view I've just realized we've not put SBF on this morning you can see again it's a little bit cloudy this morning but still absolutely stunning the room is now a little bit messy because we've obviously been in it overnight and slept in it. So it's a little bit of a hallway. Again, exhibit A of it being a bit messy. But this has been one of the suites, which has been lovely. We had the fire on last night. It was actually a little bit chilly yesterday. The wind got up and there was a little bit of rain overnight. So we just took it easy last night. Had a movie night in bed, had the fire on, and it was so nice. But the curtains are drawn now, but these all open up and you can see you're basically just in the middle of the forest, which is such a beautiful view this morning to wake up to. Through here is the bathroom, which has a his and hers. Again, it's all a little bit steamed up right now, but you can see the vineyard behind here. So we were literally just laying in bed and you could see all the animals coming across like squirrels and lizards and stuff last night, which was pretty cool. But yeah, it's been a decent size bathroom. And actually a really nice stay at Molenvliet. I feel like all we're constantly doing is packing up and moving on, living out of a suitcase. We have included this outdoors in costume. officially made it to the Kruger and what a journey it's been. So we left Frankshire this morning. We ended up getting an internal flight here and then from there we got on like this private propeller plane which was insane which you've seen. I don't know how we managed to get all of our luggage on it and it was just me and Chris and the pilot had me up front. The view was incredible coming over this park and I feel like it has just made me so excited to explore it all. We've just checked in, we're staying at Chitwa Chitwa. It's a private lodge estate, it is absolutely stunning. Upon arrival we had a drink straight away and they basically told us we're gonna be going on a game. So I've quickly got myself together a little bit because I did not look like this <laughs> traveling this morning. But I think I'm just gonna keep this outfit on. I've just got a Mazamadu tea vest and my dish trousers just kind of freshened up a little bit. because so we're gonna have some lunch and we're also going to be going out later, which is very exciting. But before I get into this vlog, I'm going to give you a room tour because this is hands down the best huge suite I've ever stayed in. I mean, look at the roof. We're literally in a lodge looking out over a Wharton hole. So I'm going to share this with you and get into this vlog. It's probably going to be one of my favourites. I'm very excited for this trip. I think this is the most incredible room I've ever been in my life. It's going quite dark, so hopefully it'll brighten up. But... 
this room is huge so we basically have this big it's a lodge but it's like you can see it's got this kind of pitched roof kind of like teepee in a way that we have to ourselves look how huge this is the bed looks amazing and then it obviously has the curtains that go around so we can draw them at night and hopefully keep out any little flies or whatever is going to come and get us so there's a little lounge area here the interiors are so beautiful as well it's just done so well there's a big roaring fire which is just amazing touch and then round here which i'll show you after once i've packed everything is a open wardrobe this is the big bathroom and then we have this wrap around balcony which is just incredible and the lodge manager was just saying basically you get like hyenas that come here elephants we just saw a rhino here already in the watering holes so we have this huge wrap around balcony and the weather at the minute is just beautiful it's warm but not too hot so we're going to go and have some lunch and go on a game which is going to be our first this evening and then we have a plunge pool which also wraps around here to an outdoor shower back here then you can see the big window which is our bathtub here in the bathroom i just honestly cannot get over where we are staying right now and what we're looking out to so i'm sure there's going to be lots of animals and hopefully we might see some elephants come around but we're just freshening up aren't we babe Hi. quickly before we go to lunch i'm just going to show you the bathroom before we make a mess of the room just through here it's just so clean and open and airy it's just stunning so double doors into this big his and his and hers sorry bathroom you have this big bathtub looking out those views which i'll definitely be taking a soak in this through here is obviously a big shower but you can also go to the outdoor one which i'll be utilizing and then the toilet is through here so this is going to be our home for the next four nights and i'm just like pinch me right now so we haven't had long since we've checked in so we need to head over and get lunch and I think they do teas and coffees before we head out but I thought I'd just quickly show you I finally managed to unpack because whilst I was in South Africa I've basically just been living out of a suitcase so these are some of the pieces that I brought away so I've got my by Molina gorgeous caftan dress which I've been wearing a lot and then I basically just brought a lot of kind of like waistcoats linen trousers another kind of like little waistcoat set with a skirt dresses I can just put on top of bikinis I've got a lovely silk shirt from Arquette and then I also have this cardigan from Arquette which I managed to get my hands on. I absolutely love this, it's going to be perfect as just a layer to put over and then I do also have like a fleece jumper with me that obviously I'll be able to wear in the mornings and the evenings if it does get a little bit chilly. So as you can see it's a very neutral colour palette which is what is needed for safari and also they do recommend you obviously keep to these kind of neutral colours because otherwise it does get off the animals so I was very happy with this colour memo and I've just put some of my accessories out so I've got my plen bags and then I've got some like shorts and little kind of cover-ups here I've brought a few hats which I can also wear I've got my Loewe one which I thought would be very on brand for safari my lack of colours so you would have seen all of these being packed in the pack with me video but I've still got a lot of my suitcase and stuff down here that I need to get through <laughs> just sat at lunch and what was the rule today honestly we're not drinking today we're drinking some wine we've said it every single day and bam look at the size of the globe I mean we couldn't deny it sat here having lunch just checked in looking out here we've just spotted some animals over there I'll definitely be putting my zoom on so you guys can see obviously a lot more up close dread to think but, what the size of the red glass one is Oh my god, I know. One class even. We've also asked our drinks for sundowners, so that went out the window as well, didn't it? I will be using the gym tomorrow.
lit up outdoor dinner with a fireplace or a few fireplaces the video really doesn't do it justice but hi good evening Evening. Hi. Uh, do Chloe, do you want to choose the table? I don't mind. This is great. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys, enjoy. Thanks Thank very you. much, Daniel. We just got back after dinner from our first night, and you have to lock the door. And we thought they were joking. They said basically the hyenas can hyenas come to the door. The door open. Yeah, we thought Imagine. they were joking. Um, Imagine you're asleep, but then you just wake up and you've got like this hyena laughing in your face before it eats you. Our gamer is so nice and he basically has to walk you to your room every night just in case but we could hear them couldn't we like laughing we are so <laughs> full we've had like three courses on top of a two course lunch and snacks but you come back and they have all your room ready for you which is so sweet so they've uh, put all the net around the bed we are absolutely knackered after a full travel day and the past few days from the wedding. So we are gonna call it a night and we'll see you early in the morning for the next game. So we've just got back from our first morning drive and we did all five we and saw, more. We saw the big five. It was in, absolutely in the first morning. insane. We did leopards, lions, lions eating buffalo. We saw, did we see a buffalo? We saw a lion, a lion, pack of lions feeding on a buffalo. We saw a wild buffalo. We saw rhinos. We have cute little three rhinos. On its back. Yeah, I mean you're going to see it all the footage. So loads of elephants up close. We were just speaking to leopards. Daniel, who's our driver, and he was um, saying how how rare was it? In three years, thirteen times has he seen the big five in one day. It was actually unreal. It and, just kept and getting the two better and better. Were amazing. I feel like Leopard, every... leopards are my favourite animal now. Yeah, just every... seeing them. Every 30 minutes, he was like, I have another surprise, I have another surprise. And we just kept seeing so many. But we're going to go for breakfast now. That was absolutely yeah, worth getting up this morning for. Oh, mimosa's great. No. <laughs> so we had breakfast. <clears throat> and then I went and had a four-hour massage. It was absolutely heaven. And the sun is currently out on the deck, so I've just put on my Hunza G Swim. This is actually a really good one for tanning because it's like the Bondu style. I've just been loving how comfy this is, and then I've also got the swimsuit, which I'm not sure if I've actually shown on this vlog yet. But the bikini is on, I'm going to get my ass on the terrace, pour myself a gin and tonic, because basically, with this hotel, which is amazing, you get it all inclusive. I've never actually done this before. So the fridge is like fully stocked with whatever you want. So I'm like, why not just make myself a g and sit out, I'm gonna catch up on a little bit of work. I'm really trying to switch off this holiday, but work still happens when you work for yourself. So I need to try and catch up a little bit, have a bit of downtime, 
and then we're going to get ready again we're probably going to have lunch here in our room today and then get ready again and go out on tonight's game drive which i just don't know like how it can even get better from what we have experienced already this morning it was just absolutely unbelievable so my mood right now is all the way here i'm on such a high i just keep pinching myself because this is my current view and literally just lying out here you can hear the hippos coming in and out you can hear all the animals it's just so calm so peaceful and just utterly beautiful oh my god guys i'm just sat out and i've just spied these zebras believe it me and Chris were saying the ones we wanted to see was these can you see them there in the distance absolutely stunning and lunch is served I've gone for grilled chicken with a Greek salad we're actually having it in the room today and Chris has gone for steak so we're gonna share both that looks absolutely amazing mm. yum I am ready for the game for the tonight so we have just been chilling out by the pool like i said got some work done had some lunch lunch was delicious the food here is honestly unreal and i'm just getting ready now i need to put um, my rings and stuff on but i've actually dressed up a little bit well not dressed up but i've got a linen waistcoat on this is actually from h&m and then my linen trousers are our kit i just got them taken up at the bottom but they are drawstring so they're just super comfy outfits like this are just perfect for safari i do recommend mainly wearing trousers i do have some short sets which maybe will be touch and go with the weather i'm not sure if it's going to be as nice tomorrow but I've just slicked my hair back because it's got loads of oil in from when I had the massage earlier. Just thought I'd jazz it up with a little bit of a neck scarf, some earrings and my hat and Celine Sunnies. I was going to put my Ray-Bans on like earlier but I think these actually work better. And then I'm actually taking with me my Pauline bag because I've been taking my big one with me and I actually don't need it. So I'm going to take this, obviously it clasps together. Let me show you in the mirror. Kind of see my outfit a little bit better now and then I'm just going to wear it with some black sandals and I'll also take my black cardigan just in case for later but there are blankets anyway on the vehicle but this is around half three now so we usually go to the main lodge area and we have like a coffee or a tea. They put out like pastries and stuff and just basically fuel up for the next three hours. I feel like we've basically seen the top five and everything else this morning. So I have no idea what else there could be to see. I, I do feel like we've seen so much already. It's just been amazing and also seeing the zebras earlier. So yeah, I thought I'd show you my little fit check. I'm so excited to go on our next game. We've just stopped off now for sundowners and the sun is actually going but the light seems to go so fast so it'll probably turn pitch black soon but we'll literally just have the drinks on the front which is really cute and I've got myself a gin. We've just arrived, so we've got dinner out in the bush. They've done all candles. Evening, how are you? Dinner out here. You did a good drive? Yes, thank you, it was amazing. So we're just currently literally sat in the bush and right behind us is a hippo, which is actually insane. And they were saying it's basically the most dangerous of them all. And dangerous mammal on land. Yeah, and there's uh, some hyenas actually right to, my left. to the left. You might hear them, they've been uh, having some conversation. Although, apparently, they're actually quite friendly. Spot has come out to they're play. completely demonised because of the Lion King. Yeah, but the one earlier did look really mean, but 
Literally, yeah, we have our backs to a hippo They're right quite now. relaxed because they, don't, they don't go hunting for things. They just, they just steal corpses, don't they? This is insane. It's I will never get over this view, sat having homemade pizzas and then they've got a barbecue going on over here as well. It's just stunning. Look how amazing the food is. Chris is fully loaded up on all the barbecue, vegetables. Venison sausage. Wow. Pork ribs. Popo chicken. Salad. Beef like kebab. Macaroni or something. Um, it's incredible. This is a the amount of food dish. you get. Green spinach. I've yeah. gone for salad and a little bit of meat. <laughs> I'm so full. Someone has joined our dinner. So we've got hippos, hyenas, grasshoppers. Can you see it's a little bit of a light tonight. It's following you? Yeah. Can you see? We're just heading back yeah, from dinner and we are literally are surrounded by hyenas. You can see now the light. We managed to get in the car safely and we're heading back. Survived the hyenas. I'm so full. We are going to get an early nap. Me and Chris are feeling a little bit tired tonight, so I'm going to wash my face, get my pyjamas and get into bed. But I was just saying, like, I feel like I just keep pinching myself that we've just sat in the middle of the bush having dinner, surrounded by hyenas and hippos as if it's just a casual thing. It was just insane and the food was amazing. So, good night. I'm going to see you very early in the morning. So pale in the sun but I was literally just sat here sunbathing and I could hear chop 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 and it's literally an elephant within touching distance off our deck this is incredible it's kind of hiding behind the greenery at the minute but it's going in between drinking and eating I don't know if you can hear the chomping noise it's unreal Hello guys, so we did the early morning drive this morning and I've come back and basically got myself together because I've had to do some work stuff and shoot some campaigns I mean, what a setting to do it in The sun's been kind of in and out today, it was quite cold today on the game so I had like my volley jumper and literally a blanket wrapped around me but as you saw, we saw the lions within touching distance eating the buffalo and then the hyenas came it was intense, it was a little bit scary, but it was really cool. So we've come back, I've freshened up, put a little bit of makeup on, because most of this trip I haven't really worn makeup, which is really nice, just kind of barefaced, very much just like linens, comfy clothes, and just enjoying it. But I am literally again in front of me looking out to a zebra. So they seem to be loving coming around this watering hole. So again, we've got a few hours now this afternoon, hence why I've got myself a little bit dressed up. How cute is this set from Kuke Australia? 
before I get out of this outfit, I thought I'd give you a better view because how cute is this? I've also got another top which is similar that goes with this skirt, but it's got an open back. It's like a buckle top, which I think I actually showed in the pack with me in case you missed that. I've got this one on. I thought, why not blend in with the surroundings? I actually got it from Zara and my hat is quite old now, but they still have it online. It's from Lacquer Colors. But we just sat chilling. Not find it amusing. Chris is getting some work done because I've been working this morning as well. But I feel like we do need to take a break and just chill out before lunch. Yeah. You having a good time? I am indeed. So we need to get a good base time before yeah, the wedding. I feel like we're going to go back and we're gonna go, oh, wasn't it sunny in South Africa? Yeah. But sorry, we've been up drinking wine and sleeping in. Not really sleeping in, babe. We've been getting off at 5 a.m. Yeah, the last couple it's of days. It's very tiring. True. We've also actually um, been taking these malaria tablets, but we've just stopped because when we actually got here and checked in, they actually asked if we'd been taking them and they said that they found other people here. Um, we're getting like weird dreams and stomach issues and we were like, that's so weird. Like the past two nights I've been having the most vivid, weird, scary dream. And it was just really hurting my stomach as well. And also Chris, we've both come off them. It's only been 24 hours, but I actually feel a lot better for it. But they said there's such a low risk of malaria here, especially this time of year. And they've all been here for like three years and never got it. So um, they said it's not really worth putting yourself through pain through the holiday for it. So hopefully all should be okay. But if you are planning on coming to safari, I do recommend doing the malaria injections before you come and not the tablets. Because the tablets are actually expensive. We got them from Boots, but we did get like a massive pack of them. But we obviously wanted to put the safety first, but now we're here, it's kind of like been like rest assured that hopefully we'll be okay. Do it, do it, do it. Why? I mean, you don't. You're already pretty much in, come on. It's cold. Don't you dare. No, I'm just checking it, chill. Oh my God, it's not that bad. It's freezing. Go for it. No. I mean, you did push me in at the pool party. <laughs> what a child. <laughs> Big guy. Back. Yeah, they're checking us out. <laughs> so it's the last evening and we haven't been able to go out and get the game drive done because it started absolutely pouring down. Uh, and it was actually worse before. This has calmed down a little bit. It was sideways gale force winds about 70 mile an hour. So instead we are going to have a cosy night by the fire, playing board games, getting drunk which fortunately is Chloe's favourite thing to do. It's funny, I had to get mine taken down. Took over your vlog. Two sizes. Hey guys. This is for our home video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are feasting. We feasted every night. <laughs> we have a proper braai. Yeah. Wow. We can start from this side. We're going to start from this side, okay. Yes. Chloe, are you ready? I don't know if the cameras can do this justice, but I've literally got 
a mountain of food. Even Chloe's got a decent plate. I don't know how many guys can do this. <laughs> I'm already. Final challenge. On a scale of 1 to 10, how full are you? My hair is going like full Monica from the storm. You're looking like you're moving a bit slow. I'm so slow. It's these early mornings. It's late nights and a lot of food. And... Wine. Yes. I, we've done well. We've done every 5am call. Good night. So there's been a big thunderstorm and they were like telling us basically to come to the room. They were like, there's baboons in the room and they've surprised us. They've done all of these candles and petals all around the room and just made it so cute. And they've run the bath for us. I don't want to step in the candles for us. How cute. Ready for my nighttime story? Yep. One day the king and his friend were on a hunting expedition. The friend... Good morning, guys. It's our last morning. Our last 5 a.m. wake up call. A little routine. Chris bringing me a mint tea. But I've just got my Arctic cardigan on. This green waistcoat and trousers. Comfy. I definitely want trousers this morning because... Hopefully the weather is going to stay dry at the minute. It's looking like it. So hopefully the storm has passed. We can do our last game drive. I think we're going to do like a sunrise this morning. Waking up to hippos this morning makes me really sad because it's going to be weird not waking up to all these noises every morning and in this beautiful place. So it's definitely kicking in now that we're leaving. Bag is packed. I have my tripod, just some lip balm. What else do I put in here? Sometimes my SPF, you can't really see it at the minute. And then obviously I'll have my vlog camera and my phone. This is my Demilier Vancouver one. It's actually been a really great size. And I'm gonna take my Loewe hat because the sun starts to come out, obviously after sunrise and it does get quite warm. Bye-bye. <laughs>